Alright, looks like we're synced up here. Uh, this is Kevin gonna do a little uh, video on Protoss. This is a Protoss rush called the Two Gate uh, Proxy. Uh, I guess you could call it that. This is Fighting Spirit, the same map I did the Zerg 5 pool on. And this uh, basically involves going to the middle and building a pylon and then building two gateways there. So we're gonna see um, when we're on six of nine, or uh, as the seventh pro or I'm sorry, the sixth probe pops out, we're gonna send it to the middle. So we we grab it and send it to the middle. Um, I had already rally pointed with the nexus to go there. Now I re rally pointed uh, to go back to my normal spot. So he's gonna build our pylon. You always want to build your pylon on eight, eight of nine, as you see in the top right. Um, when you get to 100 minerals, so if you see if you do it right when he pops, your sixth probe pops. It's a pretty good timing. Um, so now I'm gonna go to scout with him. Rather than waiting to build the gateways uh, as it takes time, I'm gonna go ahead and scout so I can see where my opponent is, and I'll send another probe now while I'm at nine of nine to. Uh, to uh, build the gateways. And of course, always trying to put the probes on different mineral patches than the others. So here, we, I've scouted the Terran. I'm going to try and leave my probe around. If I were playing against a human, I would actually attack the SCVs and try and harass them. Against the computer, that bugs them out and makes it way too easy uh, as all the SCVs chase my, my probe. Um, and that they're not mining minerals and uh, it's pretty easy from there so that's why I'm not attacking otherwise I would try and uh, harass my opponent especially the one building the barracks that uh, you can often kill the SCV building the barracks which would hugely delay things uh, for your opponent if they don't deal with it correctly uh, by sending another SCV either to kill your probe or to heal theirs so he's building marine now and that's gonna scare off my probe pretty soon here but I'm just gonna keep scouting around just for the heck of it um, it's always good to, to see as much as you can. So I've got my two gateways. I've hotkeyed them to five and six. I should uh, share my hotkeys here. I've hotkeyed my nexus to zero because it's right beside the P key, which I use to build probes. I've set my scout to nine because it's right by zero, so I can hit zero nine to go back and forth between my nexus and my probe. And then five and six are my gateways right now. And then uh, my first zealot is going to be one, and that'll be what I'll use for my fighting units will be one. So there's my first zealot, I set it to one, and I do an attack move up to the top left there, and try and keep up my zealot production. Of course, I've, I've already built a pylon, and I'll, I'll put in the notes on the YouTube video, um, what the actual build order is, if you want to practice a little bit uh, exactly when, how many probes to build and all that so that it works out so that you're not waiting on a pylon or anything. So it looks like there's some marines at the ramp here. And um, there's really not a lot of micro you can do there. The only thing that you could do would be to wait. And I'm going to add the probe, my scouting probe, I'm going to add that to my control group of uh, fighting units. Yeah, so, so in that case there wasn't a lot of micro to do. In this case, the, the micro is really on the Terran uh, place uh, to micro his Marines back uh, away from your Zealots. And humans will, will put the barracks and supply depot next to each other, or the barracks and command center, uh, depending, uh, see, I believe it's... If the barracks is on the right of a command center, a uh, marine can fit through, but a zealot can't. Um, so you can kind of run behind that and continue to shoot. And if the zealot tries to go around, you can run through again. Or if you put a supply depot on the right of the barracks. I believe I have that right. Um, either way, that's something to mess around with if you're a Terran player um, to be able to defend this kind of rush. So now I'm just trying to go back and forth, kill one of the barracks um, and kill all the marines as they pop out. Um, a real human would be building a bunker to try and protect. Fire bats are quite effective against zealots. Uh, good choice by him. But uh, a real human would be putting a barracks, or I'm sorry, a bunker down in his mineral line, um, and then as soon as he gets a marine or a uh, or a fire bat beeline it to that bunker and try and hold the bunker. Um, and you can also lift off your buildings as Terran, so it can probably lift off his uh, barracks and put them in a safer place protected by that bunker. 
but in this case we get an easy PC uh, computer turn. And I'm not actually playing that well because going into Windows mode and it kind of uh, messes me up to not being able to full screen. So I've gone ahead and got, got gas. Uh, as if the game were going to go on longer, obviously I'm about to beat the uh, computer here. But I got gas and I'm going to get a cybernetic score. Start to detect here. Uh, but I'm about to destroy his flat barracks, so I, there's really nothing this, this uh, computer's going to do against me. And you may not notice all the times, but like right now, did you see the gateway pop up there? That I was using my hot keys, my five and six, to go back to my gateways and continue to build zealots. You know, I went five Z for gateway zealots, six Z for gateway zealots. That's very important, and that way you can keep at the battle. You can still be watching the battle or, or whatever else is going on. And always go for workers over buildings. Um, I shouldn't say always, but uh, when in doubt, go for workers over buildings. Um, if, if I were playing against a human, or even before I went to the barracks, I would have gone for workers to try and hurt his economy. Um, and then back off. I wouldn't actually try and kill a human with this kind of rush. I would just try and hurt his economy and get ahead to um, but in this case, since it's a computer, I'm just going to kill him here. And that's what you want to do with a lot of these early rushes, um, which we'll be looking at. Uh, you aren't actually going to try and win the game, as I'm doing against these computers. You'll just try and get an economic advantage. Um, you're sacrificing your economy by doing this kind of rush. You want to hurt his economy more than you hurt your own, and that will uh, put you ahead. So, there it is. 